Hi there. Welcome to this week's edition of Monday Messages. Okay, so I'm going to start off as I always do with a little anecdote. Back, I'd say maybe 20 years ago. Actually, it was before I got sober, so it'd be, it would have been about 25 years ago. I was looking in my mouth for some reason. And, you know, I was always concerned I was going to get something. And I looked in my mouth and suddenly I noticed two large bumps. And immediately I'm like, uh-oh, that's not good. And I tried to ignore it and I tried to ignore it. And I said, no, I'm not, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to live with it. Whatever it is, if it's going to kill me, it's going to kill me. And it kept, kept bothering me day in and day out. I kept thinking about those two bumps that were sitting in my mouth. I was like, I got two lumps in my mouth. I, I just need to get it checked out so I can have my peace of mind. So I went to the doctor after fighting it for a while. And I said, okay, I just got to go. So I went, I sat down in the doctor's office and I explained, yes, I, I, when I was looking in my mouth, I noticed that there were two large lumps. And he's like, okay, let me, let me take a look. So I put it in my mouth and he did an examination. He goes, um, you're just now noticing these things. So immediately my thought is, yeah, I know. I, uh, I waited too long. I, I should have come in earlier. How much, how much time do I have? Just tell it to me straight, doc. And he's like, um, those are actually your taste buds. I'm like, oh. Oh, that's good news. I never noticed him. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're you're gonna be fine. You you got taste buds. <laughs> so so I went on and I was like, okay, yeah, yay, okay. So how does this tie into my message today? Well, today I started off the morning going to the dermatologist because last week I noticed this strange mole that was and just appeared out of the blue. And I said, oh shoot, you know, all that time I spent in Florida sun worshiping, going to my tanning beds, working, selling Panama Jack, if I even wore sunscreen. It was sometimes I would wear sunscreen. Certainly nothing that had anything that would block any rays because I, I wanted to have the best tan I could have. And I had a great tan back in the day when I lived in Florida, but I just didn't care. I was like, ah, you know, I'll deal, I'll deal with sun, skin cancer if it ever comes. So, it was, you know, as I've gotten older, I'm like, oh, let's just keep an eye on this. And now I'm much more cautious with myself as far as, you know, moles and stuff like that. And I would get myself checked out all the time. And so I, I immediately said, nope, we're not going to sit on this. We're going to go right away to the doctor and get it checked out. So I went to the doctor this morning and part of me is like, ah, you know what? I, it, more than likely she's going to say, ah, okay, everything's good. No, it's just blood vessels. And we get to that, that in particular mole and she looked at it, she goes, ah, she goes, I can't, I can't definitively say that's blood vessels. She says, it looks very, very curious. So we're going to do a biopsy. So immediately my mind goes to, oh boy, here we go. Get, get the last will and testament going. And I had to stop myself because I was like, uh-uh, no, we're not going to go there. It's, it's a biopsy. It's the first line of anything. It, it, could it be something? Yeah. Could it not be something? Yeah. It, I just don't know. And she said, we won't know for a couple of weeks when things come back. The good news is I, I got it checked out because something didn't seem right. I went and got it checked out right away. So we'll see, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, put it out there today because, you know, I, I have a, I have a terrible poker face. <laughs> if you ever play cards with me, if you ever see me look at my hand and I'm like, no, I've got something. But if you see me go, no, I'm not going to bluff. <laughs> I, I show my hand. <laughs> I have a terrible poker face. So is it on my mind? Yes. Now, here's what I've learned, especially when I went through um, what I went through with my son when he was going through some very serious life situations where things could have gone either way. And thank, thank, thank God they went the right way. But I had to learn my brain 
can go very quickly to the worst case scenario if I let it. And um, it's very easy for me to go straight to the doomsday scenario if I let it. Okay, here's where the thing is, is I, my motto when I was going through my life crisis with uh, my son's health was we're going to stay out of the what ifs and we're going to stay into the what is. Okay, we're going to, you know, take the F out of the equation because if we leave the F in the equation, we're effed. Okay, so what, no what ifs, what is, what is happening today? Well, today we're in the process of finding out some answers and we'll see what, what happens. You know, um, is it, is it a scary time? No, if I let it be, it would be. Um, however, it's just like, you, you don't know what you don't know. And so today I'm going to live in the what is today. I'm well, my son's in school, my, my husband's downstairs working at uh, his remote desk, and my dog is barking at the neighbors walking down the street. All is well. Life is good today. Life is good today. So we'll see where, we'll see where this goes. When the time is right, you know, we deal with what is. And chances are, what is, is nothing. So we go with that. So if you are faced with something where you're not sure what the outcome's going to be, and it's a scary time, but you're scared about what if this happens, what if this happens, don't go there. Don't go there. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it will lead you down um, a path of death and destruction. Never, the what ifs never come out on the happy side when I go there. So stay in the what is, stay, stay where you are today. And just put one foot in front of the other and it's going to work out how it's supposed to work out and it's going to be okay. All right. So that's my Monday message. Oh, and um, anytime I'm dealing with this type of stuff, there's a, there's a passage in the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. Everybody, everybody who knows me knows it's my favorite passage because, um, and I have it memorized because it's been so powerful for me. So I'm going to leave you with this um, for how you deal with any kind of situations that kind of could potentially throw you off and cause cause you to lose faith, cause you to worry that it's not going to come out, that God's not there for you. Okay. So here's my, here's the solution that was given to me uh, in the pages of the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous, Anonymous, page 68, second paragraph. It says, perhaps there is a better way. We think so. Or we are now on a different basis, the basis of trusting and relying upon God. We trust an infinite God rather than our finite selves. We are in the world to play the role he assigns, and just to the extent that we would do as we think he would have us, and humbly rely upon him. Does he enable us to match calamity with serenity? So today I'm trusting God that everything's going to be okay. And as long as I can do that, it is going to be okay. All right. Happy Monday. I'll keep you posted and I will see you next week. Bye.